Welcome back, welcome back. One of our resident authors is in the studio with us today, and uh, Leo Chilson is here. And uh, you are a prolific writer. You've got how many books? You're whipping them out, Leo. You're, you're whipping them out. You've got two books, two new books, and then you've got two other books that, oh, three. excuse me, three. three others. Okay. Got, right now I've got five of them on Amazon, and I'm working on, I'm on chapter seven of book six and chapter four of book seven. You are a, just your mind is on fire. I know, I just, the, this one here, I started the day after Christmas. Okay, this one's called Blood, on, days. Blood really? on an Island. That's a okay. World War II historical romance about the Battle of Tarawa. Mm -hmm. And the one thing about this one, Mm -hmm. is the last words of each chapter is the first words of the next chapter. Gotcha. And it goes from the battle to when the person was in high school a year earlier. Mm -hmm. And then the last words that take you right back to where we left off in the battle. We get our production crew back there to switch to this camera so we can get a close-up of the book, please. There we go. There we are. It's not closed, but that's, yeah. that's what it looks like. Yeah, this is book number five. And then you also have another book called What is it? Blood on the Blood on Their Hands. Okay. Blood on Their Hands. This one takes place in 1884 and has Theodore Roosevelt in it. Okay. Okay. And this uh, this one is unlike this one here, Blood on Their Hands is a waste what is a suspense, thriller, murder, mystery, romance. A little bit of all of it, Leo. Yeah, this mm -hmm. a little. This one doesn't have all battle scenes or anything like this, and uh, it's uh, it's it's different. And Blood on the Island is different too because it's written in the first person. Okay. So where all my other books, you can see what else is going on. Mm -hmm. Blood on an mm -hmm. Island. It's only what mm -hmm. the character okay. sees, yeah. and with nothing else around there. And that's the first time I ever tried to write one like that. Did it, you enjoy that aspect? Pardon? Did you enjoy that aspect, writing it? It was, the first it was strange. It was, and because I had to really put myself, I mean, if, in the situation. Right. I mean, you became the character, probably. Yeah, kind of that's what it is. I mean, when he comes off, landing on the island, they weren't expecting to come under fire, and all of a sudden there's bullets, and he trips over, he's laying there, and... So I'm saying, you no, know, if you land there, you got bullets over your head and so you're breathing real hard. And right. You're, what do you and feel like? I mean, like? you're scared. And so you you got to reflect that into the right. story. Mm -hmm. and so I, Interesting. That's the, it's, is it restrictive when you write in first person? Well, yeah, because you're only, it's only what you're seeing, what the character is yeah. seeing yeah. and who he talked to. So if uh, the, my scene is with you, well, I would have your conversation, but... Then you might walk off for something, and you're not involved in the. We don't story. follow right. that character. No, right. it no, doesn't. Okay. It just follows. Right. It just follows the first character, uh, the main character. Yeah. And now, now people can read your books at the library, can't they? Yeah, they're Here. available. Uh, the Harrison Library has all five books. The Yaleville Library has the first four. Uh, they're all on Amazon in large print, regular print, and Kindle. Mm -hmm. Plus, I have them on e-read for free. Oh, okay. So if you're okay. one of those that likes the computer, read on a computer, you can go on the computer, go on e-read, and you can read all my books for free, which I would really, really like. Okay. So You bet, please. But uh, it's, it's the writing, the uh, Blood on the Hands is a, was an accidental book. It. Uh, I was working on another one, and all of a sudden the idea hit me, and I just sat down you and knocked. You had to go with it, didn't you? And mm -hmm. the two I'm working on now, uh, one of them is going to be called Blood in the Forest that takes place in 1763 in the Pontiac War, and the other one is called Blood on the Star, which is six years after this one, mm. and the mm. same character. And it came to me a week ago. I was sitting in a chair, and all of a sudden... Boom, it just, and I sat down and knocked out uh, 10 pages, first wow. chapter, just like that. Mm. And it, and the story, sometimes I can't sleep at night because the story I'm is, sure your mind doesn't shut down <laughs> very well. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, it's a good little mind I like. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, we have your contact information up on the screen. If people are interested in, in these books, they can order them on Amazon. Is that right? Yeah, Amazon. Or you can go to e-read. Yeah, e-read. If you reread is one that really be good. If you go on e-read, that would be the more people read them on there, mm -hmm. the better it is for me. Yeah. Right. You get well, that book. word of more mouth, exposure, I guess. more exposure, yeah. word of mouth. And That's it. The hard thing I'm having is getting it out of the local area. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. always it's always marketing. Yeah. You know, you may have a talent for writing, but if you don't if you don't get it out in front of everybody, then yeah. you're a secret forever. Yeah, and the stories are good, but I have somebody who's really excellent working on doing an audio for me. Oh, so, okay. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we know that person. Yeah. She's, so. she's hard at work. Yep, so we get an audio <laughs> and on one book and then work on the other ones, and it would be great. But, uh, but if you read any of them, tell your friends. Mm -hmm. If you're on Facebook, tell them, spread the word. But uh, I'm getting real good feedback on the book. People love them. That's good. And I even had the one where the Battle of Little Bighorn, it was, uh, a woman said it was one of her favorite books. That's good. Because good. of the story leading up to the battle. Right. And, but... Uh, yeah, I need your help, people. Let get the word out there. Mm -hmm. Twitter, mm -hmm. Facebook, whatever you use. Plaster yeah. Leo's <laughs> stuff all over the. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need to get it sent right now to books in Wisconsin, Ohio, Florida, Nevada, Arizona, and here. And so that leaves us about uh, 44 more states: mm -hmm. Canada, mm -hmm. England, Scotland, Ireland. So let's let's get together and get all right. it all out there. <laughs> well, if, if you like if you like Civil War in that era, these would be good books. Well, it was. You got the Civil War era. Uh, you got the Indian Wars with the Sioux mm -hmm. and the Cheyenne. Mm -hmm. You got two books. Uh, you got a World War II, and then you got um, <clears throat> the uh, Pontiac Rebellion, which took place between the French and Indian War and the American Revolution. Okay. A lot of people don't know about that, and then. These two, blood on their hands, and the other one that goes right after this, they're just uh, in the area there in Wyoming. The story takes place, and uh, they're they're not battle scenes, but they're an era, and so it's they're, they're good stories. Good. So well, well thank you, yeah. Leo. Good luck to you, Leo. And as always, you know you're come welcome. Back. You're welcome to come back. I can do that. You'll have right. those other two like done. I'll be back. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> All right. Check it out at the uh, local libraries and uh, uh, look for him online. And uh, there's more information at the end of the show about uh, Leo Chilton. And uh, we'll take a quick break. And when we come back, we'll look at the pet of the week. We've got a kitty cat this week. And do you know the cat, cat's name? No, I don't. Oh, we'll find out. You cats don't answer to the names anyway. Wanda Bassingale is here for the Ozark Humane Society. We'll be right back.